Hey everyone, welcome back to Thrifted Thursday. My name is Sammy and on Thursdays I show you what I've thrifted, what I'm going to upcycle, what is going to be listed on the website, and what is going in my booth. You can visit unicorndustdesigns.com. It'll be linked in the description box, also in the comments and in the chat at the top. Um, you guys, this is as usual, a little bit of everything, but it's a lot. You guys, I have a humongous stash and a lot of it, I'm like, not all of it is going to be listed on the website. So I'm like, I need to like, at least show them this stuff so I could start upcycling it or tag it for the booth. So this is going to be a long one. I'll try not to be as chatty as I usually am so I can get through it, even though that's really, really hard. So I'm just going to start with the stuff that's in front of me. I found two cherubs. This one doesn't have a tag, but I think it was, I don't know. I feel like I find these at Savers all the time. I got this one and then this one. If you remember, I've actually DIY'd this one before, but I think I am going to just clean these up and put them in the booth because they're not chipped or cracked and they're actually... This one even has a nostril. Can I just point that out? But the other side does not. And then I like this cream color on this one. They just really need to be cleaned. And this one was $2.49. I'm not sure how much this one was, but um, I really like those. I think those, this one's like muscular or something. Or like got, got abs on the back. <laughs> Everett's down here laying around. All right. I found this creamer and thought it was so gorgeous. Look at that. I don't think it is crystal if it makes that ringing sound, but I love all of those beautiful details. And then it also has the etched glass. This is so pretty. I wish I could find a bunch of these like super cheap and put succulents, like real succulents in them. But even the handle is hefty. And that was $3.98. So cute, no chips, gorgeous piece. That thing's heavy duty. Found some, you guys know, I love my brass candles. This, These are actually, they have like HB right there. I wonder what that means. Looks like somebody put like a piece of felt to help help hold the candle in. And these were $1.99 each at Salvation Army. And these are a pretty good weight. We'll definitely have to, I don't know what that is. Get the, yeah, somebody put a piece of felt in here so that the candles would fit properly. So I will get that out for y'all. So those are very nice. I always grab brass, except um, especially candlesticks because they're timeless. They could go with any kind of decor. I grabbed this little clock. So dang cute. Of course, it. Uh, oh, the tags right here, $2.99. I will ensure that it works. I guess maybe it did. Ha it probably had a back on it at one point. I'm sure it had to have, right? I didn't even realize that or think about it when I bought it, but I bought it to paint. Cause it's just like a cheap plasticky one. It's not wood at all. So I'll put my DIY pile to the right. I got this Gospel Melodies vintage book. Love it. It has no writing on the sides at all, um, but beautiful old gospel book smells like an old school library. No joke. This one was $2.99. So that one will be listed on the website. I also got this. I, I am Irish, so it spoke to me. I know people love horses and it might be like one of those one-off things, but why not? Right. And this was it used to be at Bob Evans and Ohio Wholesale Incorporated. So that'd be cool if it was made in the USA. So really cool, very country. And then I grabbed this to DIY. This was $4.99. I'm kind of surprised I spent $4.99 on it and it was at Savers. So um, I know it was $4.99. <laughs> they don't do a discount. But of course I got it because of all of this. And then 
this is just flat and I either thought like a mold or decoupage paper maybe. So to kind of almost have it like a framed picture, maybe we'll do that with it. So maybe possibly we can DIY that tonight on the live or the clock too. Okay, so these were listing on the website. I'll put those over there. And you guys, if I am buying frames and stuff like that, I am not shipping them anymore. The last two things that I shipped that were frames or like a big sign, I ate it. Literally, I paid for them to take my item. Like, because the bigger the box or the bigger the shipment, the bigger the cost of shipping is. So, yeah. All right. John thinks I'm absolutely ridiculous for buying this. It was $6.99, but I promise you I have a vision for it. The back unscrews, so I'm gonna take that out and I'm going to put the clear matte spray paint on the mirror to make it just look, you know, not like a mirror. And then we are going to paint and wax this. And I think it's gonna be gorgeous. Um, I didn't realize though, this was probably in somebody's kitchen because the bottom is like covered in grease so hopefully I could get that off but I want to DIY that I think it'll be gorgeous John thought I was absolutely insane buying that I grabbed one of these magnetic books it was $2.99 at Salvation Army it is cute the way it was but my initial thought was to DIY it I saw um, Jamie Ray do like the Juliet mold on there because I mean really it could be a trinket box as well so you can turn it into a mold or it's kind of nice and old world like this too so I don't know it's actually really nice like look at the trimming and then like the actual like cover almost looks like leather this isn't like one of those like cardboard looking ones you know so maybe I'll list this and see if anybody's interested because I do think it's um, pretty. I found this little guy at Salvation Army for $2.98. Is he not the cutest? He has some wear. He's definitely an older piece. Oh, that's actually a sticker. So that's nice. But there is some just like natural wear, but no cracks. It's a little planter. Looks like somebody used it for fake florals. But look at how cute that face is. That will be on the website. This we're gonna DIY. I'm not a fan of this bright red. It was $3.49 and it also looks like his beak is chipped. So not like chipped, but like kind of scuffed off. I don't know. So I am going to, this thing is coming out. Oh, that's not annoying. Okay, that's not, that's not gonna. All right, so we're gonna re-glue that and then we're probably gonna add some salt wash to it and fix this and then sell it. That little wobbly thing in there that was gonna drive me nuts. I found this like copper horse. Look at how cool and detailed this piece is. Do you see that and all of that beautiful patina on there? The only thing is, what do you call this, you guys? It's bridal, maybe? I could be wrong, I'm not a horse person. Some of you guys are probably dying right now, but it looks like it came unattached from here. I don't think glue would help, and I'm not gonna do that. I would let somebody purchase it and decide that, but this is so beautiful and so detailed, and don't know how much I paid for it because there's not a tag on there, but that'll be on the website. Yeah, this was $1.99, this apothecary jar. And I got it because it had the beautiful etched um, florals, greenery in it. Thought it was gorgeous. It even has it on the top part too. So pretty. And you could put anything in here. That one was $1.99. I just need to clean it up. Looks like there was a bunch of tags on it or something. So that will be listed on the website. Thank you, bud. These were $1.99 each. These are gonna be perfect, absolutely perfect for fall. So these are gonna go in the booth space. So I'm gonna save those just to kind of 
you know, like layer, or even if I wanted to paint the rim or something, they will be cool. They're $1.99, mark them up a little bit and you're fine. I know. I found this at the Goodwill bins. You guys, this is like my stash. Like this is how long it's been. So I believe this was a salt and pepper shaker. I did not find its friend, um, the little stoppers inside, but this would just make for a beautiful piece anywhere. The color is so cool and it's like, has a gritty feeling to it. I don't know, has some chips, but very cute piece. And that will be on the website. Uh, we have to take the tape off. So this was $3.98. Thought it was so cool. It's like glass, ceramic. We'll just say it's glass. It'll break, okay? And I thought this was perfect for Father's Day, even though Father's Day just passed. But for our bird lovers, something to put like on a desk or in a bookcase. This is gorgeous. I actually, let's go ahead and... I don't know what the inside I'm assuming it's just like the inside or outside <gasps> where do they have to put I swear all that tape on there you guys why hmm what does that smell like it smells almost like somebody had yeah. mints in here or cigars I don't know. Mom, why is it why is it broken? Where? Oh everywhere. everywhere. Why so why did you buy this? It's broken. So I will have to get off all of this beautiful see why? Why do they do that? And this was it looks like handmade in nineteen eighty three. Which is so cool, but it's just plain on the inside. That will be on the website. Now, again, you guys. Oh, I didn't eat. You guys, hello, if you're watching this. I'm going to do a last chance 25% off sale from here until Sunday evening at 11.59 p.m. Central. It'll be automatic on checkout. So make sure to head to the website now and grab the things that you want. I am doing this as a last minute because I'm going to start pulling things for the, um, the booth. So things that have like sat on the shelf for a while, I'm going to start pulling that stuff. So if there's something you've been eyeing, grab it. This is a last chance, 25% off sale. It's the biggest sale that I've ever done. Um, so make sure to grab your items. Do not just have them sit in the cart. You need to actually check out or else somebody else can snag it from you. So 25% off from right now until Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Central Time, and that'll be an automatic application to only these thrifted items. It's not the entire website. No, you know what? It's gonna be the thrifted items and my upcycled home decor. Everything else is excluded from the sale. All right, let's continue. So he was saying, mom, why'd you buy this? I got it at the bins and at the bins, you're like working fast. Yeah, it's, it is totally, totally cracked everywhere. It looks like it was another salt and pepper shaker, but it's like, you gotta be up close, but I'll list it for like nothing in case somebody wants it. Now, these I learned from you guys are, what's on his head? I don't know what's on there. Um, but they're not salt and pepper shakers. They're pie ducks or something. You put them on top of the pie and it helps the steam come up or something like that. I got these at the bins too. So I'll clean these up. This one, it could just be the way the glass is made. It's kind of has like a, a ripple if you can see it. So these will be together on the website. What's next, bud? Okay. I always get these boxes. This was at the bins. I get them and you guys know I DIY them all the time, just like I did in Tuesday's video. This I believe was Everly's pick. She has, they both have a thing for critters. So she bought this, it was 449. 
I'm gonna leave the vintage little floral on there. I think this one's very well done. Has a lot of detail in there. And then the eyes are super beautiful. So that will be listed as well. I think it's this. All right, so I have two of these, you guys, and this comes from my personal collection. I've been very bad about doing the five at five because in all honesty, if you're a hoarder like me, it is hard to get rid of your stuff. And like, so I keep going in there and I'm like, what can I get rid of or add to the website today? And I'm like, no, I was going to DIY that. No, I'm going to use that eventually. But these were two pieces. I'm selling them as a set and they are wasp be it catchers. Now this one does have the cork on it, but this one does not. Um, they are obviously beehive ones and then they have like their little feet. So cute. Even if you're not going to use them for their intended purpose, they are heavy glass. Um, they're gorgeous. And I bought these to use in my home decor and still haven't used them. I actually, we have a wasp out on the, um, the deck right now and I was like maybe I should actually keep one and use it but so one has a cork one doesn't that was for my personal collection this is a brass it almost looks like a fighting rooster a fighting rooster there's that I paid $5.98 for it it's a solid brass piece it is very nicely done Lots of detail in that piece, and that will be on the website. Now, this piece I wanted to paint the wood on. I love the face of this clock. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Do you see that? All of the detail. And then I just think that if we painted the outer, I mean, in all honesty, I love the wood, but every time I buy wood, you guys never buy wood, like just solid wood. So like that corbel, I thrifted a while back. It's still sitting on the shelf. So that's probably going to get painted. So I think I'm just going to paint the base of it. This was $6.99 and I totally think it was worth it because it's absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love that. So I'm going to DIY that one. This is also from my personal collection. I have a thing like, you know, Queen Bee from DIY Paints. Like I have a thing for yellow ever. I like including it in my decor. And this is a vintage piece. It's beautiful. I only found a couple available online. It is so detailed and it's gorgeous. Um, it does have a little bit of chipping right there. No, wait, right there. And then there's a little one right there. So, and then I love like the coil top, so pretty and it's little feet. So that is for my personal collection. I'm going to do this real quick because this is also for my personal collection. So when I started Thrifted Thursday, back at the old house, I had thrifted this and did not put it up because I wanted it. I thought it was so beautiful. You can see like the old glass in there. This has to be like an antique. I tried Googling it and nothing like this exact one would pop up, but like replicas that look like it did. And it definitely seems to be an antique. You could see like the back, but it was gorgeous. And I thought that I would use it in my decor, but I never did. So this is for my personal collection. I've had it for a while. So this is on that. Now, anything I say is for my personal collection. There is an actual folder called like personal collection. So what else, baby? Okay. Um, this is going to go in the booth. This thing is heavy duty and I would not try to ship it. It was $6.99. Of course, the Florida lease got me. This almost looks like sandy blonde with like dark or black wax over it. It is ginormous and it feels like a block of concrete. And the best part is it's hen feathers. So um, if you guys don't know what hen feathers is, um, it's like it was a home and garden brand. I don't 
Are they still around today? I forget, but there was one thing when I first started this again, I um, found some like cast iron candle holders from Hen Feathers and their stuff is actually worth a lot of money. So if you find that, it looks like this at your thrift stores, snag it up. I found something the other day too. So this is going to go in the booth. So I need to tag that. All right, come on, let's keep moving. Okay, I'll do these. Oh, didn't notice that was, oh yeah, that's totally chipped. So we can't sell that. Well, I did have this Ray Dunn mug, but it looks like it got chipped somehow. Oh no, yeah, it's totally, look at that. See that in there? Dang it, I even paid $3.49 for this thing. Dang it. Okay, so that one's no good, but I do have another Ray Dunn mug, and this one is Free Spirit, which is, I love that. I love this one. What? And this one was $2.49, so that one will be on the website. And thank you guys for ordering the mugs. Y'all are still ordering them, which I appreciate. This one was so pretty. It just reminded me of Pottery Bless. Y'all know that I'm digging the the dark blue and white, and it was $2.49. And it says that it is Dowin. Looks like I need to get some sticker off of there. So add these to your order, you guys. Just add them for a friend, for yourself, for yourself. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Okay, I found these two birds at a garage sale and they were a dollar each, but they need help. They These look like burn marks. Like, I don't know what this was on here. Um, but they either need to be salt washed or maybe with like crackle, this won't look so bad, but like the random spots are killing me. So these guys are getting DIY. Those were a dollar each at a garage sale. Anytime I find a bird, I buy the bird. Okay. This heavy duty thing was $5.98. I will have this on the website, but if it doesn't sell, then I'm going to put it in the booth because of how big it is. So it is, woo, it is a wine rack, I guess you can say. And it has these handles on the sides, the like, I don't know what this would be, maybe like tarnished brass. And then inside, so look at those beautiful handles. You open it and you guys look at this. Let me take this oh, out. So it actually still had these beautiful wine stoppers. Look at that. They're so pretty. There was like a black one, a red one, a red one and a green Ooh, one. Your favorite color. My favorite color. And then it also had these in here, which I will keep in here and a strawberry one and a little pear and then you guys i don't drink wine so i have no idea what this is but it's in here too so that i found for 5.98 and you guys this thing is so heavy it is so heavy that i was like this is so interesting i've never seen one like this um but then again i'm not a wine person but it's in amazing condition I'm sure there's some flaws. I haven't found them yet though. I mean, you know, like the sides, for example, like you can see it's a little worn right there, but 598 and this thing is solid. And then with all of the wine stoppers still in there, it's crazy. Okay, this is also for my personal collection. These are definitely vintage. And um, I have used these in my home decor during Christmas time. And I love them. I could DIY them, but seriously, I love the red on them. If they don't sell, I'll probably DIY them because this isn't my style anymore. So this is in my personal collection. I have no idea what I paid for them because I've used them. Have a I know it's because it's from our personal collection. This rooster little weather vane is also from my personal collection. I've used it in my home decor quite a few times at the old house. 
and it has been sitting there and the rooster and all that is not really my vibe right now in this new house. So I thought it was time to let it go. The base is metal as you can see. And then that's the galvanized metal. So that is for my personal collection. Then what? Okay, whatever you want. I got this free on the side of the road. It's a vintage frame. Pick that up. Don't know what, what I'll do with it. Something. It has that beautiful scroll work. I also ooh, shoot, picked this up and it looked pretty old. So I got this. It looks dirty and grungy and I love it. I just need to put some cardboard in the back, some thick cardboard to hold it in. And maybe I'll find like a piece of art for it. I don't know. But it was free on the side of the road. So I picked it up. This, you guys, if you were watching my thrift with me video on my vlog channel, I found this and it screams IOD. Everything about it screams IOD vibes. And it is gorgeous. I did pay $6.99 for it. That might be crazy, but I mean, we're crafting with the stuff. Why wouldn't we just, you know, buy it too? It is so pretty. Um, it looks like it just needs to be like cleaned with glass cleaner. It has like a couple little like scuff marks, but yeah, those are all fingerprints, tape. I could get off and then it has the clear little feet, but so pretty. And this green on the outer side with the gold. Yes, ma'am. So that is going to be on the website. That one's not a part of the haul, honey. Okay. What am I showing next? We're onto the floor. Okay, we gotta move fast. All right, here is a vintage bird wall hanger. I loved it. It might not be everybody's vibe, but I mean, it's a real piece of wood, has like this leather hanger on it. It was $1.99, but I just thought stuff like this is gorgeous. And you know, it was probably made by hand. So that was $1.99, that'll be on the website. I found this a little, red wagon for $2.99 and it does move this though I mean is it bent yeah here we go there we go and this is in stellar condition and that was $2.99 what do we got baby oh yeah three of, them. three of course one has to be missing its top or no it isn't it was um. It was in the sticker. <laughs> it was the sticker from the candle that used to be in here. So $3.99, $2.99. Oh, that was a cinnamon candle. Woo! So we got these. These are gonna be so easy to paint and wax. And they're gonna look absolutely gorgeous. You need to take a lot of the stickers off, clean them, but that is going to be a great easy flip. You guys know I love my candlesticks. This was $3.49. This will be on the website. Bacon press. Look at how gorgeous that is. The wood handle. I love this. This would be so great. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. $3.49. That's one on the website. John picked this one out. So we will see. It is actually stoneware made USA. He was digging this color. He was like, I've never seen one that color before or with this like weird handle. So he wanted to buy it for $3.99. Looks like there's a little chip right there. I'll clean it. Even the, the spout looks weird how it comes like popping out like that. So stoneware USA. I'll try cleaning that up. So $3.99. They kind of, yeah, they're like a set. So these I got to do dupe videos with, and then they'll probably go in my booth. So $3.49 and $3.49, they're gorgeous. They remind me of things that I've been seeing on Pottery Barn lately. 
And I was like, oh, I need to grab those to do a dupe video. And then I could always put them in my booth or sell them on the website. Um, doesn't look like they're any particular brand, but this one, I like the shape of even this one. And they're like smaller. So you can see like my head, they're kind of smaller and I'm loving, you guys know I've been picking up anything that looks like pottery, clay. Thank you, my love. Got this to upcycle. Don't know how much it was. And yeah, it's not like actually chippy. We'll probably just turn this into a cement looking pair. This will also make a great Kirkland's dupe as well. All right. Okay. Found this for $6.99. Eee, this old lunchbox, you guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. It looks like this thing has been red at one point. Rusted. I think it was probably red at one point because you could still see the red. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so cool. I don't even think we opened up the inside. Well, I did. You did? It's good. What? When I was picking it up, it like opened when I Uh-huh. Yeah. And so you saw that it was red? Yeah. Look at that, even still has the clip for the thermos. That is so cool. Let me make sure, does it close good? No. Okay, so it doesn't, no, it doesn't really close. They're like not staying on there. It's like really loose. So, oh my gosh, how cool is that piece? I did pay $6.99 for it, but you guys know I love the rusty press. Yep, a door. I found this at Salvation Army for $4.98. It is a little, I guess you could call it a birdhouse. And it is all metal. And the metal actually has like a pattern on it. It has the little clasp for the door. This is perfect to put candles in, even a little bit of leaves. Look at the claw feet on that baby. Oh my gosh. Yes. This. I don't think can be tightened. No, I don't see a screw, so it can't be tightened. So this does move our, I don't want to like strip it if I break it right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, it's still, you can move it. So there's that, that was $4.98 and that will be on the website. You could put candles holders in there. Oh. Okay. These are candle holders because you said you could put candle holders in here. Now, I know some of you may be looking at these and going, those are fugly, but we will turn them into magic. Okay. I promise you, especially I'm trying to think of a candle that I did with the gold underlay. These, oh, they were dark green. They were Monet, um, Monet's garden with the gold underneath. We could possibly do that, or I might not show the gold just because it's like a bright gold, but I don't think it'll look bad. It just, oh, like Bohemian, you guys, I have a thing for Bohemian blue, but Bohemian blue and gold. So these were $4.99 each, and they were 50% off turn styles. So I got them for $2.50 each. So we are going to definitely upcycle those babies. We found some brass goodies at Salvation Army for $2.98 each. I found two of these horses, these rocking horses, are those not amazing? So cool. And then I found two dolphins. I do have a bigger one that was actually Everett's pick that somebody hasn't bought yet. <laughs> oh, he has a sad face, just kidding. Um, I do have, a, I believe it's bigger than these, but um, these were $2.98 each. What does this say in your hair? Made in India. Brass, solid brass made in India. So two of those. If any of you have a nautical theme going on. Um, something's broke. What? Okay. No, it's not broke, honey. It's just welded. Oh, what is welded? It's like a very hot, hot heat that goes so we got a book stand now this one's cool it has a rooster on it it is metal and but instead of sitting at an incline like this it sits flat like this 
So this was really different. John actually spotted this one out and I was like, that is actually really cool. And it has the little ball feet on it. Thought that was awesome. And then a, of course the rooster. Um, this one was $4.99. So we grabbed that. That one will be on the website as well. What do we got now? This is going in the booth. John was like, that's a weird fish. It was $3.98. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Very well done. It has like green and the scales. I thought it was just so cool. Like that's actual wood. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I thought it was cool. I was like, this I think would do well in the booth. It's something different. Do I have a booth pile? Yes, I do. Amongst all my other, oh, be careful, baby. We already got through that. Here, hand me those things right there. No, you didn't do that. Okay, hand me those things right there. So this one first. I found this at Turnstiles. Pink was 50% off. This was $3.99 and I got it for two bucks. It is a brand new picture frame and it's actually kind of cool. Like this would be great. This will be in my booth though. Cause like I said, you guys cost way too much to ship these things um, to put children's art in because you can change this out, which is really nice. I need to tighten these up though. This one's a little tall for that, but I thought that that was so cool for 250. And it's just nice, real wood. It almost looks like cedar. I found this and this was when I was planning on shipping this stuff. But like I said, after this week, I would have to charge a lot of money for these things just to make up the shipping costs. Oh, but the birds on here are so beautiful. And if we paint the frame, which the frame is vintage, um, has the back, I'm probably just going to fix that. And this one's signed by Paul Whitney Hunter. So I'll have to look that up, but that was $3.98. So pretty. All right. Heavy. Yes, it is. This is going to go in the booth. You guys, can you believe I found this? It's almost like teak. And then this is marble. Okay. Granite marble. I, this thing is heavy. Do you see that? I wish my lighting was there. You see the stone and then like the back of it, you guys, this was five bucks at Salvation Army, right? five dollars for this it is heavy duty it's in perfect condition like it's stunning it is absolutely stunning five dollars so i'm gonna put that in my booth as well that i would not want to ship because if somebody smashed that i mean that marble would be done got would this be a florida lease i guess so right this was 298 and this would make for a great door stopper um, if nobody buys it as is, I will probably white wax it, but we'll try and list it first. It was two ninety eight at Salvation Army. I love to get the uh, uh, the tape. Yeah, you learned how to do the goo on, huh? Mm -hmm. This is a handmade piece. Loved the colors, you guys. As I'm doing more of the dupes and I'm looking into what I want to make, you would be surprised how much people will pay for something that looks like this, that is name brand. This was $2.98. It was signed by somebody and the coloring's gorgeous. It even has like a blue in there. It's beautiful. It amazes me that people are so talented. Like look at the inside, the like blue glaze in there. Just, and it's heavy. All right, I got this pretty dang dirty. I don't know why I got it. I wonder, I could probably, you know why? I probably thought I could wash it. So this was from Ikea. This was $1.98 and then the plant came with it and it's actually like a nice plant. It just needs to be like washed. It is so dusty, but the inside of it is like plastic or something. So I think, or you know what? I could just I think I could just take this out and then I'll wash it. Ooh, that that's enough to make you 
found one of these wood. I call it like a trinket bowl. I'm sure it's something else, but $1.98. Um, I want to fill my booth with like wood dough bowls that I find wood bowls like this just like super like classy kind of modern but could be in farmhouse and they're just really sleek and beautiful so I think that one's gonna go in the booth this one's 398 yeah okay you guys this is a long one I'm telling you I need to get through the stuff because I love going thrifting too much to like stop shopping for it so I found this vintage bird cage you guys look it even has the little hanger in it. And then the door, oh my gosh, is like the snap back, the coil door. And it is wood. And this is all like a metal frame. Has where you would change it out. This is so cool. And then the hanger. This was how much, babe? Uh, it was three ninety eight. Will you pick that up for me? This one was $3.98. So absolutely beautiful. I don't know if I'm gonna list that or if it's gonna go in the booth. Not sure yet. Found this for the booth, $1.98. Usually more modern things I'm gonna put in the booth because I feel like when you guys are shopping, you're shopping to like hunt down something like old or rusty or like things you haven't seen before. And I feel like if you could get it in Target, you probably don't wanna buy it here except my mugs. So that was $1.98. We need to go to Salvation Army again, babe. Why did you get a face? Why did I get a face? Because these faces cost big money. You guys, when I saw this, I almost about lost my mind. Do you know how popular these things are and how expensive they are? Look at that all the way around. This was $4.98. This is going in my booth. There is no way we are trying to ship this baby. And it looks like it was, it says J-A-X. That was like the tag on it once upon a time for $29.99. So these are like all over, all over right now. And they're so expensive. And I think Salvation Army likes to price the bigger things lower so they can get it out of their store. Got it, babe? We got a lot of brass candlesticks that we found at Salvation Army. Got a big story. So, these two go together. Look at how beautiful. Such great condition. They just need to be kind of cleaned up. I mean, I don't really think they need to. These were made in India. So, great quality brass. I love the little ripples on the bottom. What, baby? Those, that way. These were also $1.98 and in great condition. These probably all came from one person's house. So pretty. All right, Everett has some more over here, some bigger ones. I don't usually find bigger ones. Find a lot of smaller ones. These are definitely more antique. Um, it even has something stamped in here. It almost looks like Melinda Mian Mandia or something like that. And these are etched. Gosh, you guys, my lighting is so horrible. Let's see, can you see that? They are etched. This one is definitely tarnished, but they're gorgeous. They're like the um antique brushed brass or whatever they're so pretty and then we have these which are like the others newer made in india what are they hosley and there are those i don't usually find bigger ones like this find ton of the small ones but not usually ones this size with like the detail on them. So those I only paid $2.98 for. All right. I can start putting stuff in here. I know. I also got this from Salvation Army because I was like, I need something to put all this stuff in. And it was only $5.98. It's like a big old wood crate. And I could use it in the booth for layering. And you could put this in. All right. Okay. 
I gotta move. We got one more bag, you guys. Another book stand. This one has the weighted balls. It is metal, it's not cast iron. And it has like kind of that brown undertone in the metal. But these little weights, these are heavy duty, you guys. And I got this for, I don't know how much this one was. It was at Savers. I probably paid more than 350, which is what the, the original person's tag was. And it even had like felt on it, but that one's really nice. And then the kickstand actually you can uh, close. Did you, meant, did you meant to put that green stuff in there? No, somebody else did a long time ago, honey. This I'm gonna try selling as is. And then if nobody buys it, then I will paint and wax it. So you can see it has florals all over it. But the patina is beautiful, that like green color. I don't know if you guys have seen DIY videos lately, but that DIY, that uh, Dixie Belle patina thing is like all over the place. Well, we got, we got it right here. We don't even gotta play with the paint. So I got this for $3.99. It's a gorgeous wall pocket. And then it has the hanger right there. That'll be on the website. Oh, it's a chicken holder. It's a chicken. This was Everett's pick for $3.99. It's a gorgeous tea light rooster. So it holds two tea lights, has sunflowers, super bright. I don't believe this one has any chips. And just a reminder, the things that the kids pick, they get the profit from that. So there's his, and that was $3.99. So that'll be on the website. This is $4.49. This one was $4.49. I took a chance on it. It could be a Hobby Lobby pig for all I know, but it looks so good. And the distressing was beautiful. So I ended up picking it up. It doesn't have any like tags on it that say where it was from, but I loved it. $2.98 at Salvation Army for this metal strainer. I think you guys know by now, I always grab them, always. This I got for a dupe. I can't tell you which one. But I can tell you that I only paid $1.99 for it and the dupe is like 40 something. So I grabbed this one and then after the dupe, I'll probably put it in the booth. What's next? Lee? I don't know why I got this to tell you the truth. I thought it was just cool. <laughs> in all honesty, I thought it'd be so cool to hang greenery in here. And I know that's not what it's for, but it was $2.49. I thought that it could be really cool to put flowers in there or something well, like that. What, babe? Sure take this tie out. It's yeah, I know. All right. This was $2.22.5. And it was $2.99. And um, it had a bird on it. So I bought it. And uh, hello. It's a beautiful color. This turquoise black and white. Yes, ma'am. Now. These don't have to be used with like plate holders. Things like this can also be used on like a coffee table to put like a candle on, a little like greenery planter. You can put it by your front door for keys, a wallet, whatever it may be. You don't have to use a plate for a plate, you know? So many different options of incorporating things like this into your home decor without it being meant for like its intended purpose. It looks like there might be like a little wear or scratch right there. You could hardly even see it. So that was $2.99. That'll be on the website. Too old in my hair to Okay, I got this and I didn't know if I was gonna sell it or just uh, redo it for our house because John drinks a bunch of tea. Um, so, and our tea packets are literally everywhere. And I was like, that is so cool. So I think I'm gonna, I definitely need to clean this up, sand it down, and then, um, yeah, this is so gross, um, and see what we can do with it. It was $3.99, or sorry, $3.49, so I was like, even just to experiment on it, I thought it would be so much fun, and if we don't end up using it, this was $6.99. And I got it because I have never seen one. I've seen Brie haul one before, but I've never seen one. You okay? So it's one of these. How gorgeous is that? 
Like I could see this in a bathroom, like with some hand towels on here, some wrapped soap um, and something else, you know, but I, I couldn't help myself. I knew $6.99 was a little bit of a gamble, but um, for decorative purposes only, please use a liner or plate with food items. So I had never seen one before. So when I saw it, I was like, that is so cool. So if it doesn't sell in the sale this weekend, then it will be going and heading to the booth. $4.99. No, how much? $2.99. These were $2.99 each, and I kind of like them as they are, surprisingly, with like the rope. It could be Western, it could be boho, it could be nautical. There are many options for these, and they're in great condition. I don't know what that material is. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know, but... Grab those, so those were $2.99. You guys, the, the fact is here, if it's a candle holder, it's probably coming home with me if it's a reasonable price, okay? Let's just get that out of the way. I don't even care what it looks like. All right, was that it, bud? We didn't just do it. The, those are old, those are from, <laughs> those are from other hauls. We so, did you guys, remember, 25% off from tonight until Sunday at 11.59 p.m., and then I'm going to start taking things off that I want to put in the booth that haven't sold. So take advantage of the sale. Um, anything else I wanted to tell you guys? Thank you, as always, for supporting us, for giving us work, as in shipping all of these items. Everett is such a great helper. He has no shirt on, so you can just see his face. He is a great helper. He has helped mom ship everything this summer, huh? Do you want to say thank you to them? Thank you. <laughs> So we are keeping busy because of you guys and we appreciate the love and support so very much. And um, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and don't forget the live is at 9 p.m. Central Time tonight. Bye.